You can see we're raising it up. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Tac Life Electric Sit Stand Desk. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. Couple of quick tech specs for you on this desk are as follows. 52 inches in length, 28 inches in width, 45.5 inches in height. The minimum height adjustment for this desk, if you wanna use it sitting down, is 26.5 inches, with the max adjustment all the way up to 45.5 inches if you wanna use this as a standing desk. This features one solid desk tabletop, which is really nice. And again, 52 by 28 by 45.5. Five. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the retail box. So here's the retail box and packaging. You can see it's a massive box and it's very heavy. It weighs 61.6 pounds. You can also see the Tac Life logo and branding, innovate for a better life. And we have the model number of this desk. It's HOD1A. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. You can see everything that we have here from the warranty card to the user manual to all the parts and pieces that we'll need with a nice kit as well too. Label clearly for you so you can identify each part and piece and know where they go. Also wanted to point out too, behind the tabletop and desk, you can see the two feet for the frame. And then also down below, you may see we have the installation steps on cardboard. I wanted to show you guys this because they actually have that on the product packaging on the inside flap you'll be able to see the installation steps right from the product packaging. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the user manual in more detail. So you can see in the user guide and manual right here, we have three different language options for you. They have a nice table of contents. Then they walk you through all the packaged products and pieces, as well as the installation steps. You can see all the steps right here. And they walk you through with nice charts and diagrams going over every possible piece in detail. Then you can see we have on the last two pages our precautions, our safety instructions, guidance, maintenance tips, troubleshooting, and product specs as well. Then if we turn the page, you can see now we have the exact same contents again in another language. And on the very back side, you can see we have all of their information right here. If you need any help, you can contact their customer support. Now let's go ahead, let's get everything assembled. First up, we're gonna attach the two end pipe pieces to the frame using the SB four piece screws right here. The first screws, if you're looking at the left side of your kit, that's gonna be the screws that you're gonna use. They're the shortest screws that you have. There's four of them. You're gonna attach those to the frame and the end pipe. So now you can see we have it attached to the frame on both sides and we're ready to proceed to the next step. Now you can see the next step is gonna be attaching the frame to the desktop. You're gonna line up all the holes with the screws on the bottom of the desktop. Pay attention to these two screws on this side and how we have the motor aligned with them. You're gonna line up all of the holes and you're also gonna use the included SA10 screws, 10 in quantity, to attach four here, four on that side and two in the middle. Before you put the screws down, make sure to put the controller arm in place. It just rests under there and you can move it about freely on the framing. So put that in first, line up the holes and go ahead, attach all 10 screws in place. Everything's fastened in place and we're ready for the next step. Now we're gonna be installing the feet to the frame. You can see how I have it positioned right here. The feet are adjustable as well on both sides. If you have an uneven surface where you're using this desk, you can get it nice and level. You're gonna be using the screws marked SA8, so the eight quantity of them. You're gonna drop four in on each side like you see right here. Four on this side, four on that side, tighten down, and then the feet have successfully been installed. Now you can see we got everything tightened down and the feet have successfully been installed. Now we're ready to install the remote control. You can see we have two screws right here. We're gonna use our last two remaining screws and the included Phillips head screwdriver on the Allen wrench to install this. So you're gonna line this up, drop the two screws in place and tighten them down. Now you can see we have it tightened down and we're ready to install the rest of the controllers. So everything else is a matter of just connecting some cables right here. So first up, we'll take the remote control cable. We'll plug it in to the controller unit right there. You can see how that goes. Next, we gotta take this cable right here. Nice adapter cable. We can go ahead, plug that into, it only goes one way. 
take the remaining end and plug it into the motor unit itself right there. So plug that right in. And now you can see we're ready to slide the controller into the controller holder right here. And the last cable we have to connect is our power cable. So let's go ahead, let's plug that in right there. Now we're ready to tidy up the cables and install the clips. Now you can see we have our cable successfully managed. Let's go ahead, let's get those clips installed. You can see we have one clip installed right here. We're ready to install the second clip right in this spot. Go ahead, just stick one end in first and then just bend it and press a little bit and you'll be able to attach the clip in place. And now the clips are installed and we're ready to turn the desk over. So now you can see we have the desk fully assembled right here. This is at the lowest height setting for it. So you can see it's a little bit higher than knee high. I'm five nine for reference. We have our control panel right here with our up and down buttons. So let's go ahead, let's raise it up right now. You can see we're raising it up, very quiet, very responsive. As soon as we stop, it stops. As long as we hold the button down though, it's gonna keep going up or down depending on the setting that we're using. We're hip high right now. Now we're past hip high. And you can see it's still going up, very tall. There we go, that's our max height setting right here. You can see really easy to lean on if we wanted. Again, if we're working on this standing up, no issues there. And again, you can really easily adjust this to whatever height you desire. Somewhere between that minimum level, let's go back there, and that maximum height that we were just at. So again, quiet, responsive, smooth transition going up and down. And it covers a wide variety and range of heights to basically your knee, to up to your elbow with this desk right here. So everything looks great. Installation, very simple and straightforward. And you can see what the desk looks like fully assembled. Now you can see I'm standing between both desk size options that are on the market today. To my left, we have the 48 inch version. To my right, we have the 52 inch version. So you can see if you're looking at them together, the width and the length is a little bit smaller on the 48 inch version. You can see on the 52 inch version that the length and the width is longer and wider with that. There are two different color options available. You can see both of the color choices right here. In regards to build quality, assembly process, and everything else, it's identical. They use the exact same parts. The only difference is the desktop at the top as well as the color of your choosing. Everything else works the same. So we have our controllers down here and we can go ahead. We can use them and raise them both up if we want. So here we go. They're both going up and you can see they started at the exact same height and they're gonna raise up to the exact same height as well because again, the only difference is the tabletop and the color option. So you can see they're going up right now. There we go. Now they're both at the exact same height right here and they went up at the same time. So everything works really nice and you can see we can lower them back down. So you have a couple different options available depending on your color choice and the size of the space. You can choose between these two options. And we're almost there. There we go. There is the lowest height setting. Again, everything's identical besides the size of the desktop and the color. So let me share with you guys my final thoughts after assembling and using both the 48 inch and the 52 inch version of this desk. First, I was pleasantly surprised with the following. When you receive the kit full of all your parts and pieces, they have a dedicated section giving you one extra piece for everything within the entire kit. That is fantastic and I wish more brands did that during the manufacturing process for their products. The last thing you wanna do is get to assembly and you're missing a screw because somebody at the factory forgot to put one in or got lost in transit shipment, that sort of thing. So I love that we have that extra packet full of all the pieces we may or may not need. I love that feature. That really, really was a pleasant surprise. In regards to the whole assembly process, it was very simple and straightforward. Anybody will be able to do it. I'd say just give yourself around 30 minutes or so, maybe 45 minutes to get everything assembled for the desk, regardless of the size that you get. Honestly, everything else is the same, so it's just a different tabletop at the top of the desk. So you can expect a very similar 30, 45 minute installation time at the most. It'll come down to just how good you are with tools and if you've done anything like this in the past. 
Other than that, I think my biggest concern is just that it arrives to you not damaged in transit. These things are heavy, and so they don't get treated the best as they make their way to you throughout the whole shipping process. So that's probably the biggest concern to make sure that you get all the pieces that you need and nothing comes damaged. Other than that, the desk works as advertised. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.